Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about um, controlling the speed of uh, rotary and uh, linear actuators, and um, we're also going to talk about um, actuator charts. Okay, so over here, um, we have a four bar mechanism. Um, at this point, you guys should um, all know how to make a four bar mechanism. Okay, so there are two ways that you can access a, um, a rotary actuator chart. So the first way is uh, you go up here to panels, and then you click on uh, rotary actuator chart. Now, at first glance, uh, there's nothing here, right, on the graph because I don't have a rotary actuator selected. So I'm going to select one. Uh, you select one by clicking on this uh, little icon over here. I'm going to select it, and then uh, a graph appears. Okay. Now it looks like um, this actuator has a constant velocity of uh, 10 RPM or 10 revolutions per minute. Um, if you want to change it, it's very easy. You can just uh, edit it yourself. Let's say I want it to be uh, 30, right? Or you can just, um, you know, adjust uh, this uh, arrow here, right? Click on it to go up or down, just like that. So I'm going to hit play, and it should uh, spin at 30 RPM, um, which it does. Okay, so uh, this is only a constant velocity, though, right? What if I want a variable velocity? Well, to get a variable velocity, it's very simple. Again, I click on this um, icon here. I switch to variable velocity. Now, uh, this max time here is six seconds. Um, so six seconds just means that the um, one cycle for the entire duration of this uh, actuator motion is six seconds, okay? So, and over here for time, I can set an interval for which um, I want the um, velocity of this actuator to be, right? So for the time being, let's just have this time interval be um, the entire time duration or six seconds. And let's say I want the velocity to vary um, from zero to 30 RPM linearly as a function of time. Uh, so I put from zero to 30. I'm gonna hit set and linear and notice that the uh, graph changes. Um, now there is a uh, linear profile from zero to 30. So I'm gonna hit play. And it should start out uh, fairly slowly. And then as time progresses, it gets um, faster and faster until it reaches 30. And then it should uh, go backwards. Just like that. OK, now there are a couple of other things that you can do. Um, and by the way, you, you can also, um, sorry, uh, you can also um, access the uh, actuator chart over here by clicking on, on the actuator icon and then you click on open actuator chart. Um, you can also change the color of the actuator. Uh, let's say I don't like purple. Let's say I want to change it to blue. Um, so you can change the color like that. Uh, you can also reverse the direction of it. So now it spins the other way. Um, if that's something you're interested in. Okay. Now, um, now you can also um, adjust the speed or not, or not in the speed, uh, it's motion down here. So you notice when I click on this, um, there's this little, um, this little uh, time interval here, okay? Now, when you adjust this time interval, it'll affect, um, it'll um, constrain um, the motion of the, um, of the actuator, okay? So let's say I don't want the actuator to rotate for the um, entire duration of six seconds, right? So it, if I want to constrain its motion, I can just uh, move this back and forth, or um, I can move this back and forth. And you notice that um, when I when I move these back and forth, um, it'll affect uh, the motion of the um, of the actuator, right? So the path of the actuator is defined by that uh, blue line over there. You notice that the um, the blue circle or the path um, that joint takes. Um, shrinks, you know, it doesn't reach a full 360 degrees whenever I move this around, okay? Now, this is very useful whenever you have a motion with, um, whenever you have a mechanism um, that has, like, unnecessary motion that you're not uh, really interested in. You're only interested in one part of the entire motion of a mechanism, okay? So, I'll give you an example. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete this. And uh, let's say you have a straight line mechanism. And a straight line mechanism is basically a mechanism where um, you have a, a joint that moves 
uh, one or more joints that move in a nearly uh, straight line. Now, ideally, they should be in straight lines. So I'm going to ground these um, like so. And I'm going to add a rotary actuator here. OK. Um, and also, I'm going to add one more joint right here in the middle. Perfect. Now, there's a lot of unnecessary motion here that I don't need to see. OK, so this joint, for example, that I'm not interested in the path of this joint. So I'm going to click on this joint, and I'm going to click Hide Curve. And I'm going to hit this joint, and I'm going to hit Hide Curve. OK? Now, you notice here, when I hit Play, um, part of the motion of that middle joint uh, travels in a nearly perfect straight line, right? Uh, with some uh, unnecessary motion at the beginnings and ends of it, right? But I'm only interested in the uh, middle uh, straight line section, OK? So in order to isolate that, I can um, play around with this um, uh, with this uh, time interval uh, down here, right? So when I move my mouse, mouse around, um, I can sort of see uh, which um, parts of it are nearly linear, right? Which is uh, pretty cool. And I just uh, basically move this until I get when I only isolate the part of the motion that I want, right? Like the linear motion. So I'm satisfied with that. I'm going to hit play, right? And now the motion of this mechanism is constrained to only the motion that I'm interested in. OK. Now, um, also keep in mind that um, you can do all these things also with uh, linear actuators, not just rotary ones, OK? So we can do that. Um, I'm going to delete all of this. So. Um, let's draw a cylinder. I'm going to draw a link, um, kind of ground it, ground it to uh, this one. Um, and I'm going to add a linear actuator. Okay. Perfect. And okay, I want to stop it. Um, and of course, um, I can open its actuator chart. Um, and its velocity this time is in inches per second, not RPM, because it's, um, of course, it's a linear actuator. So let's say I don't, I want to change its velocity, let's say, to 4 um, inches per second, right? I play, and of course, it goes four times as fast, just like that. And again, same thing with the rotary actuator. You can, you know, play around with this time interval down here. You can constrain its motion. Right, um, you can switch the variable velocity. Right, all the same things you can do with uh, a linear actuator that uh, you can also do with a rotary actuator. So let's say I want a linear profile, velocity profile. I want it to go from zero to four inches per second as a function of time. Set linear. I hit play, so it starts off slow, uh, and then gets faster to four inches per second. Go slow again. Right. OK, so I'm going to stop the video here. Um, in the next video, we're going to be talking about um, all the options you have up here with uh, files importing and exporting files, and also the different types of views, and also the different types of views you can have.